Alright guys, I'm going to try and get a quick video for you out today here. It has been a ridiculous week. It is now Saturday night and I have to get this pipe delivered in the morning because uh, some guys decided to beat on the one that was there uh, with a hammer and broke it. Uh, so anyway, yeah, this is a duct that goes on a spray dryer. Product gets blown into basically an oven. There's a rack that moves the powdered product back and forth to some conveyor belts down to some airlocks and there's a vacuum system that this is part of. Uh, apparently this part was plugging up and people were beating on it with a hammer and just broke it. So I got to get one of these up and in the morning so the plant can get back up and running. So uh, as you saw there, I uh, just went ahead, measured it with pipe wrap and zip wheeled it off. Uh, I was not able to use my exact pipe cut saw because this is a piece of rolled tubing. Uh, and it, it's not real round, so it, uh, the cut was walking on it, which is why I ended up using a zip wheel. Uh, so we're going to go ahead here and weld this out. I've got this purged or tacked, and it's been purging for a while. Uh, so yeah, let's just go ahead and weld it out, and then we've got to put a ferrule in the side of it here for a collection port, but let's get to it. All right, so the fit up on this could have been a little better. Um, I've been doing enough of these where I can make it work, but I probably should have taken the time to really make it perfect. But I got some 316 filler here. I, I suspect this is probably 304, so if any place uh, you know needs it, I'll just dab a little bit of filler in there and it won't hurt anything. But ideally, you would make this to where you have uh, you know an absolutely perfect fit up and you don't need to use filler, but I'm uh, in a hurry. So this is a three inch tri-clover ferrule. Uh, I gotta fit this 
in this pipe here and have a nice sanitary weld around here. So what I went ahead and did, as you saw there, I took a three inch, just regular Milwaukee hole saw, drilled a hole in there. And then that just fits with these guys here. And so I got it fit down in there. I took my Sharpie, Sharpie it around there. Took it outside just so I didn't make a mess in the shop here. Took an angle grinder with a flap wheel in it and coped it to the radius of the pipe there. And now it just sits, it's nice and snug down in there. Uh, so I'll go ahead and put a cap on this guy here and we'll go ahead and weld it out. Uh, now the fit up on this is decent enough so I shouldn't need to use a whole lot of filler. Um, I may cheat and use a little bit because I know what this is going in. And All right, I hope you guys uh, got something out of this video here. Just kind of wanted to show you how to do a quick uh, little sanitary project here. I just went ahead and polished the inside of my ferrule here and the inside of my weld here with a flap wheel and my die grinder there. As you can kind of see, just knock the color off of it. I'll probably go ahead and passivate this with my passivation machine before I go ahead and install it. But uh, anyway, yeah, just wanted to uh, show you guys what I'm up to here and hope you guys got something out of this. Uh, I know a lot of uh, people have been messaging me uh, asking kind of about uh, sanitary projects like this, but it's not very difficult once you kind of get the gist of it and uh, not something you should be scared of. Anyway, I'm Darlington Farm. Hope you enjoyed this quick video. Thank you for watching. Huh.